All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade the patch for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 ray tracing. Uh, Capcom wasn't nice enough to uh, give the option for those that don't want to upgrade. So if you don't have a card that's powerful enough to run ray tracing, you're kind of out of luck. Um, personally, I love the, uh, the ray tracing update. I have a 3090 card and it looks really good and runs really well as uh, as well. So I do see a big difference. But uh, for those that don't have the uh, the option and want to downgrade it, uh, this is how you do it, okay? So first you want to go to the Steam directory and uh, find your steam.exe executable here. Go ahead and create a shortcut of that. Uh, right click on it and go to create shortcut. Uh, once that shortcut is created, go ahead and just uh, drag it to your desktop, okay? And you should have it on your desktop here. Right click on that shortcut and go to properties. Uh, now you'll see the target here. Uh, some of you might have the quotation mark. Uh, some of you might not have, might not have it. Uh, doesn't doesn't really matter just go ahead and get to the very end of the exe and uh, space put a dash and then type in console and then just click ok and then after you do that just restart steam and uh, once you have steam open again now you notice that there's a new tab here it's console all right click on that and uh, Next thing we got to do is you got to let's start with Resident Evil 3 as an, uh, an example here. Uh, this command line right here, you want to copy this command line here. Now, this is all going to be in the description. Uh, I'll place all these code in the description for you. Now, we're going to go with this here, just copy this line of code here. Uh, don't copy the placeholder. This is just a reference to know uh, the name of the files, okay? So just copy that. And then go to your console tab here at the very bottom here. Go ahead and just paste that code. And then click on Enter. Once you hit Enter, um, it's going to start downloading the, uh, the old version, okay? I've already done it, so I don't want to re-download it again. But it should be about 20 gig uh, for the Resident Evil 3. Now you have to do you have to download both of them, the for the main game and for DLC for it to work. If you just download one and not the other, um, it's not gonna work. Okay. So once you've downloaded both, uh, you have to go and navigate to um, the folder that it's saved in. Uh, you're not going to see it in the download tab of Steam, okay? You're not going to see that. Uh, it's got it's going to show up in your uh, Steam directory. Go ahead and navigate to your wherever you install Steam. Uh, go find Steam app. All right, so it's going to be Steam, Steam app, and it's going to be in the folder content, okay? Uh, and it's going to be labeled app 952060. All right, double click on that. Now you're going to notice there's two folder in here because we did download two files. Okay, this one is the main game. Go ahead and just copy everything that is in this folder into your um, Resident Evil 3 main uh, install folder. All right. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. Uh, all right, once you have that open. Uh, real fun. All right. All right, so this is my main Resident Evil 3 install folder. And then this is the downgraded patch. Go ahead and highlight everything and then just copy and paste it into your main folder, uh, main Resident Evil 3 folder, okay? And then you're gonna do the same for the other one, this one here, which is your DLC. Uh, just copy whatever is in here into the DLC folder 
in the install folder okay and that's it that's all you need to do for resident evil 3. as for resident evil uh, 2 it's the exact same process um, this is the code for for everything this is your base game right here you want to download that if you don't have um, the dlc for resident evil 2 don't worry about these this is only for people who have the dlc um, and as for the DLC here in Resident Evil 2, uh, just it, just the uh, just put the folder when you install all these uh, when you download all these folders, uh, these files is going to be in a folder. So just uh, copy and paste each individual folder into the main Resident Evil 2 install folder, and that is all you have to do. And uh, your game uh, is now. Uh, downgraded so uh, yeah you can get those mod working again um, and hopefully uh, it doesn't crash on you so that's it guys that's the video uh, if you run into any kind of problem let me know uh, I'll try to help out as much as I can so enjoy until the next video thanks for watching take care peace out